Hello, it's Gordon here. Hope all is well with you. In this video, I've called Make Your Own Kind of Music because I was looking back through my photos as per yesterday's video of me on the 12th of February, a few years ago, back in 2015, I think it was, doing a gig, playing a ukulele. And I made one of my quote images, make your own kind of music, even if nobody else sings along. I wasn't actually singing that song at the time. I was just singing a song that I wrote called Wrinkly Socks, which doesn't quite have the same message. But the song I'm talking about, make your own kind of music. Now, you might be thinking, am I talking about the Paloma Faith song? Well, yes, I am talking about that song. I'm not talking about her version. I'm talking about a version by Cass Elliot, Mama Cass, Cass Elliot, which was a hidden niche gem version that I, I've always loved that version. My mum and dad used to play it when I was little. So I've always loved that version. And I don't know if you find this. If you've got a song that you've always loved, that not many people know maybe, and then it gets released as a cover version by a modern artist, you get a bit frustrated. You think, oh, everyone knows it now and they're gonna think I'm, I'm talking about the new version. And there's nothing wrong with the new version. But for me, it's Mama Cass's version. Make your own kind of music. Written by Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil. Because I always like to credit the songwriters. The overlooked geniuses of the music industry in many cases. And they wrote many, many hits. Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil. And Make Your Own Kind of Music was a hit, but not a massive hit. But if you think of the lyrics... Not only does it say, make your own kind of music, even if nobody else sings along. I mean, that's a great pair of lines, isn't it? The re some more of the lyrics goes like this. They may try and tell you there's only one song worth singing. They may try and sell you because it cuts them up to see someone like you. Oh, it's great, isn't it? So let's look at those lyrics. They may try and tell you there's only one song worth singing. In other words, their song. So other people will try and impose their agendas on you. And that's the message I've spoken about before, isn't it? They may try and sell you, which means they may try and insist that their song their agenda is the only one, so you've got to follow their agenda. And it cuts them up to see someone like you. Because if you make your own kind of music, if you sing your own kind of song, if you follow your own agenda, they don't like it, do they? Whoever they may be. That might be family, it might be friends, it might be work colleagues, it might be your immediate peer group. It might be society in general. They. They want you to follow their agenda and their song. And they don't like it when you follow your own agenda. Now, that's not always true. If you do follow your own agenda, if you say, this is my agenda, my song, and I'm going to follow my agenda, I'm going to sing my own song and if you don't like it tough some people will say great good for you they will support you and they will encourage you unfortunately some people as the song says they won't like it it will cut them up and they may try and tell you you have to follow their agenda so what you can do is you can explain to these people what your goals and your passions are and your intentions are. And they might come on board. If they don't come on board, only explain it up to a point. OK, you don't have to convince them. You don't have to justify yourself. Because if you spend too much time and energy trying to convince them there are two problems with that the first problem is you're exposing yourself to their negative energy and that will have an impact 
And the second problem is you're wasting your, that en your energy and your time trying to convince them that time, focus and energy could be spent, and dare I say it, should be spent on that agenda of yours. Does that make sense? So yes, you can explain yourself, but only up to a point. You don't have to convince them and justify them. Justify yourself to them, whoever them may be. In those five key areas of life, health, wealth, career, relationships and lifestyle, could it be that you're not making your own kind of music, you're singing other people's songs because they've persuaded you to? Whereas in actual fact, could it be better that you start to sing your own kind of music? Now you might say, well, I'm worried that to carry the analogy further, I'm worried that nobody else will sing along and I'm gonna be on my own. Well, the fact of the matter is you might be on your own in the short term, but once you focus on your agenda, on what you want to do, I can also assure you that there will be a crowd who will embrace you, support you, encourage you. That's always been true. It's certainly true offline before the internet exploded. But since the internet has exploded, oh blimey, a few clicks of a button and you can find that supportive group, that group that will embrace you and encourage you. I'm not talking about a pity party or a moaning society, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a group that will push you forwards and motivate and encourage you because they're on the same page as you. They're on the same agenda. They're singing the same song as you. So it's a fantastic song. Below this video, once I've posted this video, I'll put my quote image. And I think I might also put a link to the YouTube of Mama Cass singing Make Your Own Kind of Music because that's by a long way my favourite version of the song. So let me know what you think about that message. If you like that message, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and maybe say so in a comment below the video because what that does is it helps Facebook spread my message a little bit further around. So obviously I'd appreciate that. Oh, and by the way, this is the kind of thing I cover in my Transform Your Life Now program about singing your own song, making your own kind of music. And you can see that over at transformyourlifenow.com. So, it's Gordon Bryan signing off for now. Hope all is well with you. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. And I will speak to you again soon.